a retired principal of a college. On a particular day, I was to retire. A month or so ahead of my retirement, my colleagues, my students came. Sir, we want to arrange a farewell party to you. Good. They arranged a function. They spoke of me. They garlanded me. They gave me a turban. They gave me this ring. And by the time the function was over, it was 8 o'clock in the night. I went home. My wife was serving me food and she told, My dear husband, they gave you free farewell. Yes, I'm very happy. Okay. After retirement, where do you go? Where do you live? The building which you are occupying belongs to the government. You have to vacate it. Next principle will occupate. After vacating this house, where do you go? First time, she opened my eyes. Really, where do I go? And then, the very next day, I called my colleagues and made inquiries. Is there a house for sale? My friend said, how many crores do you have, sir? Why crores, lakhs, thousands also? You get me a few square yards of land. For each, can you spend five lakhs, sir? No. Away, 40 kilometers away from the city, somebody here has laid the plots. There it may be a little cheap. We shall get you a small land, you build the house with your savings. I agree. I bought, registered, plan was made. Whatever money I had, I started construction. A month or two to be completed for me to occupy the new house after retirement. Every day in the morning, I go there, supervise. In the evening, I come back by the city bus, I have no car. I went one evening, summer. And I was going from the side to the bus stop to board the bus and come back. About six o'clock in the evening, pleasant breeze, gentle wind, calm atmosphere, bus stop is another for longer, so away. I am off the way with my dhoti, without shoes, only chappals. From some place, a cobra came. A poisonous snake, powerful reptile. It came in a hurry, encircled my foot under my very nose, and gave a bite, immediately left. I saw the snake, it gave me a biting. Within minutes I was feeling the pain, piercing, penetrating, poisonous venom coming up. Head is reeling. I was feeling flimsy, giddy. And then my plight, most pathetic, no person nearby. At a distance, there is an 18 floored building, floor building. And I shouted at the top of my voice, Hey God, who are you? Where are you? Lavo kinta yuledu dhairya mumilo lambaya pranambula thavul dappe ucha vachya thalumur dasin Nobody to come to my rescue. My head is reeling. I am falling. Please come to my rescue. I shouted at the top of my voice. That is a legend. Every person in the life has to experience this bad, 
This torture when the death is at the doorstep every time. Maybe in an accident. Maybe when you are traveling. Maybe when you are sick. Every person has to feel that torturous movement when there is a death nearby. I shout it. And then, to my luck, the top floor, the great man opened the door, looked at me, came down in his nighty, did not change his clothes, rushed into his garage, pulled the car, did not summon the driver, he drove the vehicle himself, came to me, Professor, what happened to you? A snake has bitten already for me, standing out of the mouth. I am falling. He pushed me into the car, rushed me to the hospital, saved my life. Sirikin Chappad, Shankha Chakra Yogamun Chedoy Sandhimpad, that Vishnu does not tell his wife, does not summon Garuda, does not wear the upper garment, does not wear the shoes. He rushes, rushes, rushes when the child in the street falls and cries, Mommy, the mother from the kitchen, without stopping the gas stove, without caring for the boiling milk, without caring for, for her salary, rushes to save the baby. This is an experience of devotion. Every individual, and the same thing Vyasa Harshi beautifully describes in the Gajendra Mocha when he is caught in the clutches of the crocodile. When we are caught in the difficulties, when we are caught by the death, when we are about to die, Prana and he comes to a rescue. And now, Wherever I go, there, near Bangalore, 40 kilometers, gentleman, wonderful, he is not a man, he is God. He is Vishnu, he is Lakshmi he is the supreme divinity. I go on writing poems, and make songs, sing about his glory everywhere. And that is what the Anwars have done. That's what the nine marks have done. That's what Chaitanya Prabhu has done. That's what Ramadas has done. That's what the great Bhaktas have done. And now, my construction work is going ahead. I did not have sufficient money. I borrowed about 50,000 rupees from a friend of mine without any promissory note on account of my integrity. He gave me and I promised to give back his amount within a month because I thought the government would give my gratuity soon. Government delayed, I could not pay, and Murtam is to be fixed on the 26th of May. I fixed my Krishna Pravesha. Invited friends, relatives, students, all people came, and the man who lent me money, 50,000 rupees, should I call him or not? If I call him, he will ask for money. If I don't call him, he will be angry with me. Therefore, I wrote the address, posted the invitation in such a way that it would go a day after my birthday. That's what young boy and girl who marry, want to marry, love marriage. They, want, they will write a letter to the parents in such a way, by the time they receive the letter, marriage is over in the distress of this. I played the trick. Postal department worked very efficiently that day. Very much in advance he received. He was the first to arrive. <laughs> Whom I wanted to avoid, he came. And come on, sir, welcome, sir, he said. I was looking after others. He looked at me, came close. Hey, mister. Yes. Do you remember you have to pay me 50,000? Yes, 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 I will pay, I will pay, I will pay. And I was starting to He started with up, 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 up in Hindi. 
Slowly he came to tum 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 and finally he came to tum <laughs> held by neck. Oh, professor, what do you think? Do you want to avoid my payment? My friends, relatives, students, everybody is looking. Ten thousand people. Not a single man came to us. He was holding my neck. Collar. That day I moved the collar. Since then I broke up. <laughs> he held me by the neck. He was shouting at me. Everybody was looking. All the Vaiyasi students were looking. They were all admiring when I was taking classes. But that day, no, everybody was silent. When Draupadi was held by the sand, when she was dragged into the public court hall to be disrobed, to be insulted, to be humiliated, not a single soul. Right from the top, Bhishma, to the lowest man, the youngest brother, everybody was quiet. We go to the theater, enjoy a woman being disrobed, insulted, paying the money in the black market, 500 rupees for a 50 rupee ticket. We derive vicarious pleasure that we suffer, we have to suffer alone in this world. Nobody comes to our rescue, that is, Mana Rakshana when I am being insulted in the public court hall, in my own house. In the Gruha Pravesha celebration when people were making a, a visit to me, they were all stupefied, they were just silent spectators. And then I made a fervent prayer. Already I posted an invitation to that rich man because he already helped me in the past. I never knew that he would be available. Luckily, he came. The moment the rich man came, Dishyasana removed his hand and that rich man looked at this money lender. What do you think of him? He's a learned professor, man of integrity. How dare you touch his neck? Sir, he owes me 50,000 rupees, sir. For the sake of 50,000 rupees, you idiot. He called the secretary, signed the blank check, Threw it on his face, take whatever amount. If you touch this man, you will be in difficulties. That's what Krishna did in Mahabharata. <coughs> Akshaya Vastra, limitless cash was given, limitless salaries were given. And now, sir, you are great, sir. That day when I was bitten by the snake, you saved me. Today, when my honor is at stake, you saved me. Second step, same man, same mind. When I was in danger, he protected. When I am my self respect is in danger, he protected. All people have left. They all praise me. Ah, 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 ah. Prime Minister is your friend. Krishna is your friend. God is your friend. Very great, sir. Before that, rascals, everybody was fine. <laughs> now everybody praises because Prime Minister Modi is by my side. Krishna is with me. They have all gone. My sister came from Mumbai. She has many cars and she wanted to see some sightseeing by saris, go to temples, and she looked at me, you idiot, you have been the principal for 30 years, you do not know how to earn money, you don't have even a car. How am I to go to the city 40 kilometers away? You have built the house. What do you think of your brother? Rich man. Krishna is my friend. Rama is my friend. Then Rama is with me, Krishna is with me, Shiva is with me, Lord Vishnu is with me. What do you think of me? Get me a car. I went. Kuchela. Kuchela told his wife, what do you think of this man? Krishna is my friend. I went, knocked at the door, he came, Professor, come on, welcome. All the Gujarati sweets he brought, all Bengali sweets he brought, 
he called his wife krishna called rukmini satyabhama all others is my friend jala and they wash my feet they serve me food sad that day you saved me from the snake bite next day you saved me from the humiliation and now you are worshiping me like anything god professor you must be having many guests yes sir he called the secretary professor have many guests keep all the cards at his house sir let all the tem- tanks be full with diesel yes sir let them go wherever they want to go in bangalore mahatma gandhi road whatever diamonds whatever necklaces whatever pattu sarees whatever temples everything let them go see bill let it come to me i did not ask third step kuchera he did not beg from krishna money without sudama asking krishna gave ashta aishwarya third stage and now my devotion prana rakshana mana rakshana and he gave me the fulfillment of desires how devoted how many poems do i sing how much glory do i sing and now my son is doing his btech in iit delhi he wrote a letter daddy i am coming on monday morning saturday sunday night itself monday morning 10 o'clock i have an interview come my boy he came and he told see 10 o'clock interview you have built the house 40 kilometers away from the city how can i go hey what do you think of my your father greatness monday morning 9 o'clock i go to him take a car you can start how far away you will reach i wait 10 o'clock you will be there 9 o'clock i went to press the bell the great man krishna vishnu shiva the richest person came what professor what do you want earlier one way please tell me quickly i am in a hurry sir tell me i say i have an urgent board meeting what do you want my son has come sir he wants to attend a meeting sir car sir what car nonsense every time you beg for this and that no car all the 27 cars are disposed all the people managing committee members have created you can go can't you arrange a car for you sir how long do you depend upon me now shall i be angry with you he got me married but did not give me chair he got me promotion but did, did not give me increment now my position in the society what does my wife think what does my son think arjuna asked for the life of abhimanyu he said no are we closer to krishna than abhimanyu kunti devi asked for the life protection of karna no he said are we closer to krishna than kunti devi own paternal aunt desires will be fulfilled desires will not be fulfilled should i be angry with him i started thinking why this man is playing sometimes he gives sometimes he does not give i don't look at the temple i don't look at the house i don't want to think of him i don't want to praise him then i am like uthava chignyasu what is this man playing for one day i went i pressed the bell hello professor what do you want i don't want your pretension one day you will be angry one day you will be smiling one day you will be uh, irritated who are you what is our relationship don't worry professor i think you have a pregnant daughter so what immediately he called his secretary let 48 doctors be there 70 nurses be there 100 cars be ready i don't want to work here that give me what to call me that give today you want to take it easy sir that i was like that you don't know when he helps me when he troubles me when he elevates me when he makes me be no 
This is curiosity to know the relationship jignasa. We pass through that experience. What is the relationship? Why are you playing with me? Who are you? Who am I? And then, finally one day again, I sat. Professor, do you want sweet? No. Hot? No. What do you want? I want to know who you are. Why you are playing with me? A mother and the baby went to a temple. The baby was in the beast. The baby was asking for a balloon, it was bought. Train, it was bought. Everything was bought. And in the temple, the baby was kept on the floor, and the mother was worshipping the crowd, they both were separated. And mother was in one place, and baby was in another place. Baby was crying, crying, crying. A rich man came. What do you want, baby? Do you want a balloon? No. Do you want the train? No. Do you want an aeroplane? No. Do you want job? Do you want promotion? Do you want increment? No. What do you want? Mummy. <laughs> that is the stage I come to. Do you want promotion? No. Do you want doctors? Mm, no. What do you want? You. Who are you? Who are you? And then he reveals Arjun. You and I are Nara and Narayana. Professor, you are Jiva, I am Paramatma. You are old, I am also old. Arjuna, you and I are of the same age, you do not know who you are, I know who I am. I know who you are, Jnana. Mother told me that you are my twin brother, Jivatma and Paramatma are brothers. Now that you are asking, I am telling, you have reached that state of jnana bhakti, full knowledge, prakala. And he has never wept. All this is yours. All the cars are yours. You have every right to enjoy the entire universe. Tvameva aham, ahameva tvam. Anjaneya asks Sri Rama. Sri Rama asks Anjaneya. What is the relationship? When I have Dehatma Buddhi, I am the servant, you are my boss. When I have Jivatma Buddhi, you are the whole, I am a part. When I have Achyatma Buddhi, Tvameva Sambhaha you and I are one and the same. From the lowest Artha Bhakti to Arthabhi Bhakti to Jignasu Bhakti to Jnana Bhakti we evolve, in our own lives we can experience. And when we are experiencing Ardhartha and Jignasu, sometimes you have any desires, no, 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 this is wrong, you begin to question. Like that, we will be going up and down, up and down, it is a cyclic development. Finally, we will be absorbed in the Jnana Bhakti, where everything is divine. Everything is enjoyable, everything is pleasant, everything is a sport, a leela, having come to Prashanti. May we all become good devotees to enjoy the sweetness of the ecstatic, divine experience. Let us look at that Lord Krishna in front of our inward eye.